guys welcome back to the channel so today what I got is going to uh, install a gear keeper on my TRX4 and if you don't know what that is um, it's sort of like having a winch or a pull line strap line uh, it, it's retractable um, has some tension they're really intended for CV holders for trucks semi drivers or anybody with a CV radio holding the you know the mic um, but they're very useful, you know, in the RC world, you can mount it to your truck and have some tension to help in certain crawling situations, climbing rocks and that stuff. So I'm going to show you on the bench, uh, the installation, or actually I already have it installed. So I'm going to show you that and then we'll get out on the backyard course and we'll see what, uh, see if we can show it's useful or not. So here we go, guys. All right, guys. So here you'll see, I already have the gear keeper installed. It's double sided tape to the flat spot here on the TRX4. I made a hole with the drill through the front bumper. Um, this piece right here, you can actually take it apart so you can get just the smallest piece to come through the hole and put it back on. It also comes with the gear keeper, comes with this. So if I just clip this in, I have my anchor connected to it and I can connect it up to the top of the body. Uh, and then I can simply take this off when I'm working on the car, I don't want it on there or whatnot. You can pick up gear keepers that uh, online for like 10 to 15 bucks. Sometimes you can find them at the truck stops as well. So let's get out on the course and see if I can get us in some situations where we can show the usefulness of the gear keeper. Hey guys, so here's a climb. I'm not going to use the uh, gears keeper. Just do whatever the vehicle can do. guys so here I'm gonna try to do the same climb when I get to a certain point I'm going to use the gear keeper uh, and see if it makes a difference all right we're getting to that point where it's wanting to go up so you're gonna go over here to that so there we go let's see all the difference in the world right there as you can see let's find another climb get it if I turn to the left. Let's try it again. I'm sorry, I was turning to the right, not the left. I can't get up it like that. Now if I turn to the right, I can get some bite and get up. And rolled. All right, so we're gonna try that same one again. All right, guys. So I'm gonna try the same spot again. When I get it up there where it won't do anything without turning the wheel, I'm going to use the gear keeper. Alright, we'll do the 
gear keeper. Hi right, guys, got the gear keeper anchored over there. So let's see. There you go, all the difference right there. All right guys, so there you have it. The gear keeper on the TRX4, and as you can see, it is definitely helpful. It definitely makes a difference. It won't pull the truck, but it'll give you just enough tension to let the truck do what it's supposed to do to keep the nose from, you know, going up and over and flipping backwards or sideways. So it puts just the right amount of tension and lets the, the truck do the rest of the work. So I'm really pleased with it and we'll keep it on the TRX4. And uh, hopefully this is useful for you, for you. I'll put a link down below um, where you can pick up the gear keeper from Amazon if you'd like. And if you like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time, guys.